Hey guys, welcome to another math lesson at Magic Monk Tutorials. Uh, let's do a little bit of a review on expanding and factorizing simple equations, uh, linear equations, before we go on to quadratic equations. So if you remember, uh, a few lessons ago we did some expanding uh, let's say I have a bracket with a term in front of it, 5 bracket x plus 3. Now the way you expand this bracket is you get a term in front, multiply by each term on the inside, and then it becomes 5 times x plus 5 times 3, so it's 5x plus 15. Okay, so that's simple expanding, and factorizing um, is the opposite of expanding. So if we have 5x plus 15, and we want to put it back into the brackets, then we look at the common factor between these two terms, and 5 is a common factor. So I take the 5 out, put it in front. 5 is actually the highest common factor. And then 5 times x is 5x, 5 times 3 is 15, so that's factorizing. Putting it back into the brackets. Okay, so now let's do a quadratic example. Now, what happens when you have two brackets next to each other and you want to expand it? So for example, I have x plus 2 in the first bracket, x plus 3 in the second bracket. So now I have two brackets and we want to expand it. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing you got to do is, actually, let's just write the word expand so you know what we're doing. Expand these two brackets. So the first thing you want to do is draw some arrows similar to how we drew it here in the first example. If you draw an arrow from the first term to each term in the second bracket, like so. So those are the first two arrows that you draw. From the first term on the left to each term on the right. And then you're going to draw arrows from the second term on the left to each term on the right, but this time you're going to draw it at the bottom of the fractions. Okay, now each of these arrows means that you have to multiply the terms together. So let's do the arrows on the top first. You got x times x, so it's x times x, right, that's the first arrow here. Uh, now you're going to draw the second one which is x times 3, so we have plus x times 3, which I'm just going to write 3 times x. And then we're going to do the uh, arrow on the bottom. 2 times x, so plus 2 times x. And the last one, let's use a different color, 2 times 3. So I have plus 2 times 3. Okay, so now let's uh, put them together. x times x is x squared. 3 times x is 3x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6. Now you notice that 3x and 2x can be combined because they both only have an x in it, so they're called like terms. So let's combine them, x squared plus 5x plus 6. So you have just expanded uh, two brackets. Okay, let's do another example. Expand x plus 2, x minus 4. 
Okay, have a go at that. Come back when you're ready. Okay, so let's have a go. Starting from the first term, multiply each term on the right. So you have x squared time minus 4x and then you have 2 times x and 2 times minus 4 so that's plus 2x minus 8 okay so just a note here on why we have a minus sign there and there it's because we have negative 4 minus 4 so x times minus 4 is minus 4x right if you're not sure about how to multiply negative numbers I do the tutorial for negative numbers and then come back but basically when you're multiplying two terms if one of them is negative and one of them is positive then the answer is negative the same thing happening here x times negative sorry 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 because 2 is positive 4 is negative okay so now we have x squared minus 4 plus 2 is uh, minus 2x minus 8 so these are all uh, expansions and you will see that after you expand two brackets you end up with an expression with x squared in it x to the power of 2 now when that happens this is called a quadratic expression so quadratic expression okay so now we want to learn how to factorize quadratics which means we want to put this back into the brackets now we've already done this question here uh, which means we know that the answer for this question is going to be x plus 2 x minus 4 right? because we just expanded it previously to give us the quadratic expression so we know that if we factorize this same quadratic expression we're going to get the two brackets that we expanded in the beginning but let's assume that we didn't know the answer how will we get that now what I like to use is called the box method the box method of factorizing and I would uh, encourage you to use this method until you're comfortable with factorizing quadratics uh, eventually after you're comfortable with it you might not need to draw the box anymore but I'd suggest you do this quite a few times before you do it without the box so the box method looks like this you're gonna draw a box like so and you're going to make four cells in this box right four quadrants one two three four in the top left quadrant you're going to put in x squared in the bottom right quadrant you're going to put negative a so the first term with x squared you're going to put that in the bottom in the top left box and the term with no x you're going to put in the bottom right box and what you're going to do is you're going to think of two terms that multiply together to give you x squared and that's going to be x times x right x times x is x squared now you think of two terms that multiply together to give you negative 8 but add together to give you the term in the middle which is negative 2 so uh, it'll be negative 4 times neg uh, positive 2 right negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8 and negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 
So negative 4 times x is negative 4x. 2 times x is 2x. So once you have filled in the box, you're going to get the diagonal terms top right, top left and bottom right and you're going to add these together to make sure that you have the term in the middle. So negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x which matches the term in the middle. All right, this term matches this term here. So that means we have done the box correctly. So the check is correct. So once you have done that, then you are guaranteed that the headings of your boxes, x minus 4 and x plus 2, these are the answers to your equation. These are the factorized uh, brackets. So x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to x minus 4, x plus 2. So you have just factorized your first quadratic expression. Now let's do another one. So factorize x squared plus 11x plus 28. So let's draw a box. Put the x squared in the top left hand box. Put the 28 in the bottom right hand box. x times x is x squared. Uh, 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times x is 7x. 4 times x is 4x check that the diagonal adds up to the term in the middle yes it does so therefore the answer is x plus 7 x plus 4 right these are your answers these are your answers Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on factorizing quadratics. See you next time.